how far back this mess has been going. Incredible. Absolutely yeah, incredible. We've been setting up people to be future enemies. Yeah. And <laughs> empowering them against our own people. Right. So you, the genius you, of America goes overseas free of charge. Well, you've got to go back and ask, okay, what is the what is the ulterior motive, the real one, for setting this country up to be destroyed? To take us down. To, uh, well, no, yeah, but I mean, why? Who's doing it and why are they doing it? If you weaken America enough, both psychologically, sociologically, uh-huh. economically, you wind up not having any competition when you're ready to turn on your new world order, government, that's, world government. That's absolutely true, Bill. Absolutely true. Now, my argument has been for years, from when I was inside, ever since then, and I started learning little bits and pieces. Yeah. There are factions of the New World Order, and they're all fighting each other. Mm-hmm. To a great extent, the wars, including Vietnam, and Somalia, all of them, even the current mess in Iraq. That's right. Are wars actually not for what we think they are? The wars between these factions of the World Order is to who is to become the big poobah, mm-hmm. the controlling factor in the world when we have a New World Order. That's right. Now, in addition to that, I believe there's a schedule. And I believe that schedule has to do with their changes. They know all about them. They've known about them for a very long time. And they've gotten superb reconfirmation since the early 80s. And again, satellite and some other stuff. Well, we we go back to what you and I have talked about on the air a lot at various times, and that is something like Planet X, and every you know. And now they have so so wiped out any validity to the public that the public every time you mention it, they start to laugh and they say, "Oh, geez, not another one." But the fact remains, Bill, is that for several months back in 1983. On a weekly basis, reports were given. Uh, carry it further that uh, some of the top scientists in the world who tried to alert people ended up yeah. very dead. So that's that's just one of the major things. I mean, but you're right. There is so much happening around well, us today. The warnings have been coming out. Mm. You know, we it isn't just Ron Paul that's done it. We've had Senator Byrd from West Virginia who... I just read an interesting name book just before you called. He carries a, co- a copy of the Constitution in his pocket. Really? And he, and the, he was one of the two votes against mm. the intelligence bill. Good for him. Or was it the, uh, the other one? The, the, pro, the, the Patriot? The Patriot Act thing. Yeah. Um, and he said it's unconstitutional. It passed, though, didn't it? decided I'm going to go in and just raise hell. No, not at all. He's one of the most serious people. He's He's been on the show. and Well, he's not only a doctor, he's also a, um, I believe he's got a, another degree in economics. What? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Bill, we're, we're almost out of time. And, okay. And, and we're going to have to do this, you know, maybe next week or the week after. Where do you see us going as a nation? What would you suggest con- people start to do now? Okay. The, the, the powers to be are going to keep trying to prop up the economy of the world, and particularly ours, until the critical point when they want to weaken it. Yeah. 
because they weaken it and it falls apart, there won't be any money left, or people will be just concentrating on survival instead of defending the rights of their country. That's right. Either okay. from internal insurrection or external. Okay. Right. And that's when they're going to drop it. That's when the hammer's going to drop. Mm-hmm. And the only way we can, as individuals, is like you and I have both done, move to someplace rural, develop your own self-sufficient infrastructure, mm-hmm. get out of debt, if at all possible, totally, Build up reserves, put some cash, some gold, some silver, mm-hmm. bullion coins, and learn how to garden. And develop multiple talents or trades over the next year or two to be able to be an asset to your local community. Yeah. And mm-hmm. still make a living. You may be bartering for food or whatever you need. Sure. But it, you'll be surviving. When, because this country is broke. When do you think that some of this... Is going to happen, Bill? My opinion right now, and it could change, I think the worst of the earth changes are going to start in 2008. And Mm -hmm. if they don't occur, that's when we're going to have World War III or something like it. By that time. Yeah, we go back to what Billy Meyer told us, too. I mean, it's um, think of him what, what what you might, but he's never been wrong in his predictions. And my gosh, I, I I don't like to start again, you know, especially starting off the new year with, with with a lot of negative emotion. But I want all of us to understand, hey, you know, we at least at this point in time have an opportunity to to prepare for different things. Now, whatever those things are, let's say, oh, my gosh, those things are just going to be, um, uh, natural disasters like, like Saucy went through, you know, two hurricanes, the eye passed right over her house, all right? Yep. So if, if she had had uh, certain things at the time, she would have been a lot better off. And that, yep. and that includes a lot of the stuff that we talk about, which is basically becoming self-sufficient and becoming independent with your neighborhood, well, I look at it that we're discussing negatives, but we've also, to clarify the situation so everybody has a clear view, yeah. but at the same time, we're talking about sol- positive solutions. 